Hi everybody, I'm Kath Lloyd and today I'm experimenting with my raw chocolate recipe that I haven't done for quite a while and you know I'm doing this for two reasons one just to have some fun, well three reasons one to have a little bit of fun um, because I haven't made it for a while two to experiment with some different flavors and also some adding some um, different sort of foodstuffs into the chocolate to make um, better you know better varieties but also for my daughter as well because she's trialing a dairy-free diet um, to try and help her eczema and she's also a little bit of a chocoholic and as you know chocolate and dairy-free don't exactly go very well together um, and you know all that Cadbury goodness isn't going to help her eczema so this is why um you know i'm just having a little go at this and also you know it's celebrate chocolate month so you know uh, you know you be able to have a go at this because actually it is really quite simple so we'll get cracking and um it won't take us long to have a nice slab of chocolate Okay, so just to show you a few of the things that um, I've got going on here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slab of chocolate, okay, so that I can then use that either just to eat on its own or to break up and put into other things. So um, out of the batch I'm going to make, I've got two trays ready here with some parchment paper or baking paper in there ready. Okay, and just to show you the sorts of ingredients that I use. So we've got cocoa, butter, and as you can see, I use um, Seven Hills and um, it is vegan. Okay, so we've got the, the cocoa butter and the cocoa powder. Now I use maple syrup, okay, and and also you're going to have a little pinch of rock salt as well. Now I've already got weighed out my, my cocoa butter so this is what it looks like okay so really nice easy um, ch uh, cocoa buttons and then the, the powder that is already sieved. Okay so um, and also on my stove I've got some water that is boiling and a, um, and a bowl to melt my um, cocoa butter so I'm just going to put that in there okay and that is going to start boiling away now well not boiling away melting sorry okay now chocolate making is quite a messy business um, as you will see once you get going so always have something to put your utensils on because it does get everywhere I'm afraid and um, it, so it's important to be a little bit prepared um, like with any sort of baking or any creative type of um, activity that you're doing and you can see here that it is boiling it's you know the water's boiling away really quite nicely and it's starting to melt now in the past I have um, melted this in the microwave um, but you have to keep a you know you have to keep a very careful eye on it and so I have actually found that doing it the old-fashioned way in a saucepan of water is a lot easier okay um, but there's all sorts of varieties of cocoa um, butter and the powder and the maple syrup that you can use and the great thing about this is that making your own you can make it as sweet as you like now my husband is uh, also a big chocolate fan but he likes really quite bitter chocolate and so you know I can make it how I want to for the people that I'm making it for and later on you know I'm going to do a little series of these little chocolate um, making videos um, because I want to show you how I flavor my chocolate 
um, with the doTERRA essential oils and also the combinations of flavours that go quite nicely together. So for example, um, ginger, um, um, if you have root ginger, goes very nicely um, chopped up in a lemon um, flavoured chocolate. And glacier cherries, for example, go very nicely with the chocolate that has got black pepper in. And I've done all sorts of things. I've used um, chilli flakes, um, which, which are really, really nice as well, and um, have a little bit of salt in there. And I think what I'm going to do is, you know, once I've poured the chocolate into my two containers, is have one just um, plain as dark chocolate. And then I think what I might do is just sprinkle a bit of rock salt on the other one just to see how it is and you know it's not very expensive as well to make this chocolate so you can experiment and also it's it's a fun thing to do have your friends round and um, you can have a little bit of a chocolate feast with whatever refreshments that you like so it's all good fun and it's also a lot better and a lot healthier for you than your average chocolate bar that you're going to buy from the supermarket. So as you can see, this is melting away quite nicely now. I'm just going to move that out of the way there. Declutter a little bit. And I'm just going to get a cloth ready to put down um, because this jug is going to be a little bit warm when I take it out of the water in a few minutes. Actually, come to think of it, I never actually told you how much of ingredients you actually needed. So, um, you know, to make about 150 ml of liquid raw chocolate, you need 100 grams of the cocoa butter. You need six tablespoons of the cocoa powder. And I tend to use a rounded um, tablespoon, you know, perhaps something like, you know, something like that, a good rounded one. So we're not talking Mount Everest sort of size, um, but some nice rolling hill size. And then the, uh, the maple syrup, you're going to be adding between two and four tablespoons depending on your taste and also a little um, a little bit of salt just to help bring the flavour out. Okay so as you can see the butter has melted nicely. Turn the gas off and um, so that is your 100 grams of butter nicely melted. Okay now we're going to add in the powder cocoa powder all right now if you add too much of the cocoa powder it's going to go thick very very quickly and that's all right if you uh, want to make a nice thick slab but if you want to um, put it into molds um, to make fancy patterns which is what I'm going to be doing um, you know when I when I add to this series um that's four five six okay and um you, you want to be able to get the the nice pattern of the mold so give it a good stir you can use a little whisk if you want to to help you um but i find that using too many implements means that you you lose quite a lot of the chocolate okay now that has stirred in really quite nicely okay 
and now we're going to add the maple syrup so as i said earlier you can you know between two and four it's entirely up to you what your taste is like what the taste of your visitors are like okay um i use about two um because um my husband loves his chocolate but he likes quite a strong flavour he doesn't like it too sweet and it give it a good stir in now I'm just going to add a little bit of salt out of my salt mill um, just to help add the flavour so three little squidges of salt and stir that in and that will melt in quite nicely now I am now going to put them into my trays and as you can see this is really still quite nice and molten okay now as you may have clocked the trays have changed and that is because I will admit that my first batch I put too much cocoa powder in um, and so I've had to start again okay so just pour it in and as you notice, I've got a bit of a lip on my parchment paper. Okay. Make sure that you get all of your chocolate. And it just means that if you want a nice thin slab you can just maneuver it about really quite easily okay okay now I said that I was just going to experiment with adding some um, little flavors on the top so I'm going to keep one plain all right so I'm going to move that one out of the way and then the other one I know I've already put a bit of salt in but on one half I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and then on the other half I'm going to add this is uh, crushed chilies okay if I can open it all right and just very gently sprinkle it in now again it all depends on flavour all right I mean I've had chilli chocolate that is unbearable to eat all right but then again if it's not to your taste then you can break it up and put it into something else like cookies like cakes um, melt it down and make a, a chocolate tart for example so I'm going to leave I'm going to go and put these in the fridge all right and then we'll come back and have a little look at it um, when it's firmed off it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes plenty of time to help you tidy up while you wait okay so all of my chocolates my three slabs of chocolate have um, firmed up in the fridge now so as I mentioned before this is the, was the first batch where I put too much cocoa powder in so not very pretty but still very useful to break up put in a sealed container and save it for if you're going to be making something um, else okay but here are my other two and look how beautiful that they look beautiful and smooth they look and this one here um, you know with the chili the crushed chili on and you can see the sparkle of the salt there so very basically you just peel the wrapper off and when you're doing this if you're somebody with cold hands um, it's going to be a lot better really and basically you can just break it up into different sizes
this could have done with a little bit more time in the fridge really but still you can just pop it back in if you like you can see how it's melting already on my fingers if you like if you are somebody who likes things a little bit more organized you can um, cut it up but there you go, you've got a lovely little plate of delicious treats, either for yourself or for your, your friends and your relatives. So enjoy your chocolate making. Um, I'll be back soon um, with a different flavoured chocolate for you to have a look at.